This was a dangerous fire, but no firefighters were hurt while putting it out. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at the scene where crews are cleaning up. Cara, good morning. They are. Good morning, Suzanne. The fire now out, as you mentioned, completely contained. But behind me, you can see crews are continuing to douse hot spots. Investigators, though, have already gone inside and removed security camera video they hope will provide answers. Workers say they're not able to store combustible items. So there are big questions about why this fire exploded. Cell phone video captured explosions as flames began racing through this huge Redlands warehouse. I looked down the aisle and I seen flames. And so I just, first thing I did is just yell out fire, fire. All I could hear is my supervisors yelling fire and get out of the building as fast as you can. And I just seen people scattering. Chris Smith and Aquira Canteen tell us they were among about 40 employees already at work at this third party distribution center for Amazon. Within fast. 15 minutes, the whole back of the building collapsed and exploded. Canteen later learned her car was one of the vehicles outside that burned. The two tell us it's fortunate everyone got out. I didn't hear no fire alarms. I didn't see no fire sprinklers. Nothing. That is highly concerning. We're looking at a modern building with the latest advances um, installed inside the building regarding fire protection systems. It's highly concerning. That's why we're, ta we're bringing in outside resources to help us look at the cause and origin. Fire Chief Jim Topoleski says it's unclear what started the fire and too early to say if it's possibly connected to another three alarm fire just down the block at Splash Kingdom Water Park weeks ago. However, he does tell us the speed at which it spread through a structure he's guessing is 300,000 square feet or larger is alarming. How unusual is that? Is that what you would expect with this type of structure? Uh, highly unusual. Now, also for a while today, both sides of the 10 freeway in this area were completely shut down. That's all been reopened. The fire chief does say, though, DeMarco, that uh, anyone who smells smoke should stay inside with their doors and their windows shut for now because there still is some heavy smoke here in the area. Uh, that's some good advice. Cara, thank you for that report. Suzanne?